All right, exhaust time. Got her back up in the air. All I've got is the headers. See it right there? It goes down to right there. So I'm going to have to take and go from there out to the back. I've got the stock exhaust here, which is only a little bit smaller than what the header is. So uh, I'm cutting these pieces off, the hangers. I'm going to cut another piece off of here and there just so that I can have all my pieces. Um, I also figured out that this piece right here, which is the original, uh, yeah, is the original exhaust tip that came out the back, it is going to slide over the rest of this pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'll actually use this as as a coupling to be able to fit stuff wherever I need to. I'll just cut that piece off, and then I can make two couplings out of that to be able to weld on two other pieces back together. What you doing? Um, I was jumping on my scooter and the bottom popped out. Bottom? Let's go look at it. Your, not your scooter. No, my pogo stick. Looks like the spring finally went. That's what happens when you leave stuff out in the weather for it to rust. Is It starts going bad on you, baby. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what we can do, but like I said, that's usually what happens when you leave stuff outside in the rain and in the weather. It'll rust and it'll start to go bad on you. That's why we tell you to keep your stuff up inside that porch over there now instead of leaving it all out in the rain. It's been in there. Well, now, but look how it's not red anymore. That's because it had to sit outside a lot. So... We're going to have to try and find some more oil for it? Not oil. It broke. We need to try to fix it. That's all. Oh. We'll take a look at it right now. But all right. I'm going to take a look at that pogo stick, and then we'll get back on this. All right. So for, on further observation, there's a hole right here. And uh, when you take this and pull your pogo stick out, there's a slot there. And that's got to be where there's like some kind of bolt that goes through there. So, when we do this, and we get it in there, and we push this a certain Ooh, amount, this could, no. then this it's a hole right there that goes straight through that, and that's what holds it in place. So when it goes all the way down, it stops it. So you're basically bouncing from there to there. So, we have to find a bolt that'll slide through there and stop it from falling all the way out again. <laughs> Yeah. No, we need to find a bolt. So that's our next venture. All right. Well, we found a bolt. It's a little bit long. But what we're going to do here, this one. Yes, that side. That way. Like that. Hang on. We got to get this. Here, lift it up a little bit. So I can get that on there. There. I'll hold it and you do the rest. Turn it a little bit. Turn it and lift it up a little bit. There. Okay, I'll put my fingers here to hold it in place. I don't get it too tight. I'm not trying to. When I get it too tight, then it won't slide. We just figured that out on the other video. On the other video. Yeah, we actually shot this scene already, but we had the music on and we had to turn the music off. I want you to know that. Just get it. No, all the way down. Just just keep going. Just uh, keep going until it feels a little a little tighter than what it what it is now. And then we'll stop it. We can always uh, back it up a little bit. No, see look these aren't even uh, you gotta get those a little bit more. Get in the way of everybody seeing what you're doing. Look at me. <laughs> I take a picture. Go. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. We might back that off just a little bit. 
So now we can lift this up and we'll see if it can good. Now we have the bolt there, that bolt, and we'll cut the excess off so that the threads Daddy's gonna don't do that. Hurt anybody. I'm gonna be sitting on the side. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get that cut off. Wait, is it the thing that shoots out sparks? Yep. Okay, then go by the way. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I hate that thing. All right, back up a little bit. Can you give me a couple jumps in here without killing yourself? I try. How's that working now? Good. It's like new, huh? Uh huh. Okay, good. There we go. We fixed it. <laughs> Let's show them the bolt so we can show them that it's all rounded off. Here, look, right here. Let me round off the bolt as best we can. That way okay. there's nothing that can scratch. I mean, it might have a little point right there, but it doesn't hurt nothing. Okay. All right, that's it. Oh, grease on my hand. Go I figure see. that one. <laughs> yeah, don't touch that down there because you'll get grease on your hands. Okay. All right, go have fun. I'm going to get back to working on the truck. You can get back to working on the truck and I'll get back to breaking this. <laughs> Whatever. Go on. Go away. <laughs> All right. So, uh, factory pipe is now sticking in the end of that. There's a little piece of it, but then I have to. I had to angle it so that it goes up and stays above the frame, bottom of the frame, because eventually the truck will be bagged, like we keep saying. So this is the stock exhaust, and what I did was I cut this piece off here, so I can cut this piece off here, so that goes in the trash. And then uh, over here, this is a length of pipe. I'm going to use this as the coupling instead of that for now. But I basically, you cut a piece off of that end because it's doesn't. It's not going to have to be that long. And then this stuff will actually just slide right into this pipe. See, see how easy it slides in there. See how easy that is. I mean, it's like so easy. But anyway, it did just a minute ago. <laughs> I, th I swear, there. Okay, see, it slides right in there. Look at all that carbon buildup. All right, so now we do that like that, and then this one can go on there like that. This is gonna end up going, sliding into the one that's underneath there. Well, actually, this will slide into the one that's underneath there. And, uh, and well, actually, no, this one. <laughs> Let me get it right. I'll figure it out after I get done with this video. But anyway, now I've got uh, a couple pieces that I'm going to mock up underneath there. So let me do that real quick. All right. Let me get it. I got it mocked up in here. I got the a little jack holding it up right now. But here's a little bit of everything all the way down to the header. And what I'm doing is I'm wiggling it around. The other thing that I did was the speedometer cable goes into the transmission right there. You see it? And what I'm do and what I did was it it actually hangs below the frame, the cross member. So I raised it up and over. If you can see that, up and over so that it's further away from the exhaust pipe. That way I don't have to worry about that. Here's the next thing. You're building this to lay out on the ground. So you need to get everything level. So that you can do that. So now I'm going to take this 2x4 and I'm going to run it from frame rail to frame rail across. So I can make sure that it's not going to be below it before I tack weld this in place. And then that way I can pull this out of here and weld it up the rest of the way. Alright, so I got the other piece on there. It's up underneath there. And... Uh, it's welded all the way up, all the way to the back of the cab. Now I want to put my muffler on. Yes, I've got another one of these mufflers. I like these mufflers. They sound good to me when they're idling and going down the road. So, I don't want to have to go over to the parts store and pick up a reducer. So I've got this piece of pipe here that I have, and then I've got this, and this will slide right into that. Well, this one, I don't want to have to cut this one down. Because that's just a little bit big. Well, this one will slide into it. And then what I did was I made a bunch of cuts all the way around it. Now, it's not perfectly oval. But I'll be able to get this in there. 
and I'll be able to weld that to that and then this will slip over the exhaust pipe that's already underneath there like so it'll end up fitting right together and then I'll be able to weld that together yeah it's a little bit of extra welding but I have weld wire I don't want to have to drive to town just to get one piece so let me get this welded on and move on to the next step all right moment of truth we got it all on there let's see what happens Pretty good. Oil light came on for just a second. Well, that's the oil light again. I might want to check my oil. No. Maybe I need to turn my idle up a little bit. <laughs> sounds pretty good I guess I'm gonna take it for a spin around the block well all I can say is never mind this truck I don't know maybe I just have a death death wish or whatever with these trucks but they just okay so I took it for the test drive it did fine a couple of times it started sounding like it was uh, starving for oil a little bit the, engine, the oil light kept going on. I told you that. It started sounding okay. And then it went back to bad. And so I brought it in here and I parked it. And I was like, well, you know, I want to go to the store real quick. I'm going to try that. I started it up. I no sooner got out of the garage. And the, the whole top of the motor just sounded like there was no oil. And it was like hesitating. It didn't want to even go anymore. It wasn't overheated. It wasn't anything. I didn't put a new oil filter on it, so I'm hoping the oil filter is clogged. That's the only thing I can think of. Or the oil pump was bad right out of the box. If the oil pump was bad right out of the box, I'm sorry, but fuck this truck. I don't have time to go in the depth with something like that again. I don't have it. I, 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 this house, I got to deal with this house. My family comes first. That's what's going to happen. Um, I'll probably pull off a bunch of parts that were put on this, that were uh, that were given to me. Maybe one of these days I'll get another Mazda. If uh, everybody wants their parts back, I'll mail parts back to everybody. I, I, I'm I just I'm, I'm really really angry right now. I love mainly trucking. I really do. But I don't have the time to deal with this mini truck. So I'm going to put an oil filter in it next week because I don't have the fucking money to, to uh, even go get an oil filter. So, and I don't have the time to go get it, really. That's really what it comes down to. I don't have the time. So that's it. I, it's going to sit here and I'll figure it out. It sounded really good. I got all that. And I just. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. I guess just give me a thumbs down. Because I'm sick of fucking working on shit. That's why I don't want to work on that. I've got that up for a thousand dollars. Or best offer. Because if it don't sell. And I don't get any good money out of it. I'm going to fucking send it off to the junkyard. And eventually... If that does happen, this one's going to be up for sale. Somebody can come and get it, and maybe they'll have a fucking motor to put in it. But I'm done. That fucking lawnmower out there, I need to adjust the valves on it again. Every goddamn thing I have, I got to fucking fix before I fucking use it again. Sorry for all the cussing. 
I'm just really mad right now. So, that's it. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching me be frustrated. I've got more stuff to do around here than... I just, I gotta get rid of a bunch of trash. I gotta get rid of the cars. I gotta get rid of that truck. I gotta... I need to make room around here for being able to freaking breathe. I gotta get that pool up. But it freaking rained today. So all the ground is soft. I can't put the freaking pool up. I got so much to do. I've got parts in here that were given to me by you guys that I haven't even been able to use. I've got everything I need to bag a truck. I just don't have the freaking a motor that works right. Maybe I need to buy a fucking motor. Because that's the only other way that I'm going to do this. I'm not pulling apart another... I'm not pulling apart that motor. I'm not putting a... I'm, I'm not going to buy another oil pump and put an oil pump in it. It's not happening. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thumbs up for uh, fixing a pogo stick today. That was my accomplishment for the entire day and putting an exhaust on the truck. Anyway, until then, keep on mini trucking. Talk to y'all later.